Sergio, here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, making the walk to the octagon here tonight. He is challenging the champion, whom he has bad blood with, whom he believes he is better than. And obviously, as he makes the walk here tonight, he finally has the chance to prove that he and not the champion is the man who deserves the distinction as the baddest man on the planet. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. So here he is making his way to the octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? The champion is in focus, he is in his prime, he's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years apart, some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Saitama Super Arena in Tokyo, Japan. It's time! My friend, for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 28 wins, 6 losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, introducing the challenger, Anthony Rumble Johnson! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner! This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 23 wins, no losses. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Body out of Atlanta, Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Ben. Yeah. for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. This, this has been one of the most highly anticipated <laughs> matchups for a long <laughs> time. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in because it's about to go down right now. Scheduled for five rounds if need be. Well, it's an opportunity of a lifetime, and this is one of the biggest fights in UFC history because this man is trying to become a two-division UFC champion. He made the walk with one belt. He's looking to leave with two. Let's see if he can get off to a good start, as he's done in the past. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Bitch. Fuck Tom up. <laughs> Beautiful KO for the victory early in the first. Yes, sir, it goes into the books as a first-round win by knockout, near-perfect execution. The technique was absolutely gorgeous. And again, when you catch a guy early, maybe you're getting him cold before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit, those strikes can have a bigger effect, and it certainly did here tonight. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. 